Hey guys, I'm Tim Landwehr with Tightline Fly Fishing Company and I've gotten a bunch of questions from friends and stuff about my family's little off the grid cabin and kind of how we wired it and how we rigged it to make it as comfortable as we possibly can. We have a small piece of land here. I've got a ton of public land that I get to hunt not far from here, but uh, we've rigged the cabin kind of pretty slick so uh, our entire family likes to enjoy it all the time. So we have working water, we have shower, hot and cold running water, and yet we have zero utilities and everything else. And I'm gonna show you a little bit on how I did it. Little quick tour. We have our shed, which I can park the mule in, uh, firewood, that type of thing right over here. Kind of a splitting area. Kind of the workhorse of the cabin right there. And then this is pretty cool. Sarah's got some beehives here. We've gotten an eight and a 10 frame, and I think they're doing really well. The eight frame is super strong. 10 frame is lacking just a little bit behind right now, but it could catch up. And then down in here, we've got our orchard, and Sarah is starting to do a prairie restoration project and doing it little bits by pieces, and it's a, it's a huge project. So this is how I rigged our little off the grid cabin with the rainwater system and the rain barrels. It's pretty cool. So you can see the rain barrels behind me and we have this little pump house right here that I have the shower connected to and the filtration system and the pump and the instant hot water heater. So I'll show you guys how that works in just a second. But first I'll show you how the filtration system works, where the rainwater goes to and how it gets to the pump. This is house. our little off grid cabin here. And as you can see right up here, I've got the new gutter system that comes down here. Gutter system is connected to the PVC pipe. PVC goes into what I could, what they refer to as the first flush. So sediment comes in, fills up this PVC pipe where I can drain that whenever I want. And the excess water, once the overflow comes up, comes here into the first rain barrel. Then into these rain barrels, I have them cascading and water falling down to each additional rain barrel. And I like these styles of rain barrels because I can take the lids off and I can clean them. And then what I did is I used garden hose to plumb each of them so I can physically decide which rain barrel I wanna choose for uh, which water I wanna use. So if it's older rain or older water, I can choose to do so. Then from here, I have this hose here right down here coming into my pump house and that pump house is connected to our solar grid which i just have a 12 volt system or a 12 uh 12 volt system 12 watt 12 volt um, and there i've got the pump i'll show you in just a second i've got the outdoor shower which i have a shower curtain to fix to if i need to and my outdoor game cleaning and dishwashing stuff so let's take a peek at the pump house and how i have it rigged so you have to excuse the mess here um, it's also become kind of the tool tool shed here. So what I have is I have the garden hoses, which are coming from here, right here, from the rain barrels. From there, it's taking the water, and it's going into this flow jet pump. So the flow jet pump is actually pulling the water out of the rain barrels. From that flow jet pump, it's running it into a household micron filter. And I don't use... A real purifying filter I use it basically just to get it reasonably clean enough for dishes for showering and that type of thing and from there I have it plumbed with hot and cold water into this instant hot water heater right here and this instant hot water heater has just run off of the gas grill propane cylinder so it's pretty incredible all that happens is the water gets pulled out of those rain barrels it's sensed uh, when there's water pressure here in this instant hot water heater and I've got hot and cold running water and I'll show you exactly how it works So here is the shower and this is a game changer especially off the grid because I can control this temperature and we have hot and cold running water um, I have to of course close it down in the winter but for the family like in the summer and in the fall it is the difference between being able to come out here and be comfortable as you possibly can be. And the view out of the shower is pretty incredible. So truly the shower is just as good as at home, same water pressure, same everything. 
and it's being run entirely off of a single solar panel, which I'll show you here, and two deep cycle batteries. So the cabin is, is run entirely off of these two solar panels powered into the cabin off of two deep cycle batteries and everything is run in, entirely off of that little 12 volt system and two batteries including that pump, the shower and everything else and I'll show you that in just a sec. Okay so my son Bear is showering right now and this is kind of how it is working. This little propane cylinder lasts us almost all summer off of this. Uh, this has got a temperature gauge on it that reads only in Celsius here but here I can adjust how much gas, how hot the burner is, how much cold water is coming in. We found like 41, 42 degrees Celsius is about perfect uh, all the way around for, uh, for, for showering. But you can see inside here, there's the burner rolling. And again, this is 100% rain water coming out of the rain barrel. Flow jet pump wired into our 12 volt solar system, super simple. Micron filter, water's coming out, filtering here. As soon as the water hits this, there are two D cell batteries that sense the water pressure, ignite this, and voila, you've got perfect, perfect hot water shower outside. So, I've also plumbed in to that same water system through that same pump, an outside shower here where I can turn the heat all the way up and cleaning game or washing dishes, that type of thing, all works pretty well off of that same sort of power system with that pump and rainwater. It is full on raining right now. And here is the gutter system in action. Your standard single gutter here. We only collect off of one side. But you can see just through the surface area how much water and how quickly these barrels fill. So after just a couple of hours, we're 100% full. So this is the inside of the cabin. We've got the gas lights. Uh, I've got a couple hundred pound propane cylinders. They used to have a gas furnace in here, but we pulled that out. Made me a little nervous and I would rather just burn wood. So I have a Yodel Black Bear here and a cook stove, two separate uh, stacks that go up. But even in the winter when it was 15 below zero, this kept this small little cabin totally warm. Uh, you can see that there are lights in here uh, and it's just run off of solar. But what we did is because it's just a 12 volt service, the cabin was powered but without electricity run to it. So it runs off of just these two batteries that I don't think you can see, but they are down inside of here, two batteries in here. But we found light bulbs that run that are 100% LED and run 12 volt bulbs, not the traditional like 110 or something like that. So they only are sipping four watts. So we can have the entire place lit on two batteries and run all of the important stuff. That way we do cook on the cook stove, but the gas two burner stove gets used a ton. So let me show you how the sink works and where the water comes from. This is the other really kind of cool, cool part. So I have a flashlight on so I can show you guys the batteries themselves. But right here is what the entire cabin is run off of, just these two batteries, and we've never really run off of power. Um, so everything solar is run right off of this. I'm going to show you the sink because this is pretty cool. When we first got the place, it had a little uh, kind of a pump, just a hand cistern, and it was really a pain. So I put in a regular faucet. And you can see the water works, just like regular. Like, hmm, how does that work like that? Now, we don't have running water. We don't have a well here. But what we did, and I'll turn this on also, similar to the shower system, is I have got the water basin here. And again, 
I have got another one of those flow jet pumps. Those are those flow jet pumps. It's pulling water out of this. It's pushing water into the sink here. Uh, and as soon as you turn the power on, or as soon as you turn the water on, it works. So for washing dishes, that type of thing. So even in the winter months, if it's thawed out in here, I can, I can run this little sink. So just like regular power. I also bring in just some drinking water right here. So, but it's a pretty cool little setup. And again, it's hundred percent off the grid. It feels just like, like home. The last part of the cabin, of course, is the facilities. Maybe not as comfortable and nice as the other parts of the cabin, but my wife always likes to make everything kind of kind of cool and at home. On the roof here, these are just D-cell batteries, but at night when you walk in, they're sensing and the lights just turn on, so it works out pretty slick. So there it is. The Landwars off the grid cabin. Whereabouts, where it is, I cannot tell you or my wife will kill me. It is where we come and where we hide. One of the things that's been pretty cool about having the cabin is like it's, it's forming my kids and changing who they are quite a bit. Uh, they're just as happy out here. And granted, we've, we've rigged the cabin with all sorts of amenities, like with the electricity and the running water through the propane, showers and stuff. But they are mushroom hunters, they are fly fishermen, they are deer hunter, turkey hunter, squirrel hunters, and uh, this little place right back there is really turning them into who they are. So thanks for watching.